Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at the Morphe Auction House, taking a look at some of the guns that they are going to be selling in their upcoming Fall of 2018 Firearms Auction. And today we're taking a look at one that's really cool, and I know exactly what this is, but I can't find hardly any history about it, about how many were made, when they were made, who they were made for. This is a Webley WG Target, and we actually, you may recall, did a video on these not too long ago. The difference is, this one's not a revolver. This is a single shot gun. Let me show you. It's kind of like Plato's representation of a WG, if you held it up and could see it only by the shadow cast by a fire in the background. Uh, this thing is... I don't know exactly how they made it, because this was never a mass production item, um, or else it would be listed in a bunch of reference books. But clearly they took the barrel assembly from a Webley, and just left this big block of metal on it. Or they took a larger block of steel, and they used all the same jigs and tooling from the, the standard revolver production line to cut this profile uh, to the front end of it. Because what we have here is just a flat, single shot WG target. Mm -hmm. It's got the WG target marking, just like you would expect, up on the top. Down here on the bottom we've got the Webley patent mark and the Webley flying bullet logo. Caliber on this one is 450-455, which is pretty typical. Serial number is right where it ought to be, 22115. And the last three digits of that logo uh, on the bottom of the barrel assembly there, 115. And uh, boy, you can see the reflection in the entire room in the ceiling above me, <laughs> because the finish on this is so bright and pristine. The grip has exactly the, the profile of a Webley WG uh, square grip, uh, with a sort of pump right here in the back strap. That's, that's what largely distinguishes the WG grips from the later uh, Webley Mark I through Mark VI grips. As appropriate for a target model, it has the drift adjustable rear sight. And that screw there, allowing you to adjust elevation on the front blade. And of course the P. Webley and Son London and Birmingham mark on top of the barrel. This operates just like a Webley, using the latch here to allow us to pop the barrel assembly open. You've got an extractor, actually you've got a full-on ejector there for your one cartridge. What's kind of funny about these is, you know, for all of the effort put into this as a fantastic target pistol, the front sight is on the barrel assembly, and the rear sight is actually on the latch. But that latch is pinned in place, and it returns to zero, to, to the same original spot every time, you know, really plenty accurately enough um, for, for use as a target pistol. So I don't know that there's a whole lot more that I can say about this guy. Um, no idea the specific history, the production of it, but it sure is a very cool and very pretty pistol. Really the only historical data point we can deduce on this gun is based on the serial number. This is at the extreme end of uh, Webley WG production numbers. In fact, the highest one known is 22,126, so 11 numbers, 11 guns after this one. And that would place its production just before World War I. Uh, these guns were obsolescent by then, they'd been replaced with newer models, but Webley was still offering them, and uh, still had parts, and was still assembling and completing guns. So maybe, if I wanted to just speculate, maybe they figured they could make a single shot target gun for somebody, because they had just, you know, they were down to just a few frames, or maybe they had more frames left than they had barrel assemblies left, and maybe that gave them some financial reason to be willing to do a project like this. So as far as I know, this is the only existing example of a single shot WG target like this. There are rumors that there's one more somewhere in Europe, but nobody that I've managed to get a hold of has ever actually seen it. Uh, and it makes sense that Webley would build something like this, but I've never seen one before and none of my reference books show it. I know some people in the comments are going to suggest that it must be a fake. It's clearly not. This is exactly what a Webley target pattern single shot gun would look like. Uh, and there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that this came right out of the Webley factory. And by the way, it has been treated magnificently well since it did. The finish on this is just gorgeous. So I would love to know more about uh, about the, the history of these, who they made them for, when they made them. If anybody has any information to that effect, I would very much appreciate it if you'd let me know down in the comments. Um, 
And for those of you out there who are Webley collectors, if you're interested in having this yourself, it is of course coming up for sale here at Morphe's. If you take a look at the description text, you'll find a link to ForgottenWeapons.com, from whence you can get to Morphe's catalogue, see their high-res pictures, their description, their price estimate, and all that sort of stuff on this very cool, very rare Webley. Thanks for watching.